So one thing you might be able to do uh, rather easily is to do this mapping of the CC values onto your uh, Ableton uh, presets and plugins and so forth. The thing that you might, right, so we'll start off with this. This is kind of a good thing that has that happens. If I press number three, we see whatever I have number three mapped to come on. Same thing with number two. We see whatever I have mapped to number two come on and off, and that's cool. Um, but what happens is if I press one of these plugins on from the computer itself or from another device, we don't see any change in the LED. I, I hope you're able to see that on the screen okay, but uh, it remains dumb on the LED. And what I would like to have happen is if I turn on something, um, if I turn a plugin or an effect on, on my computer or through a push or another external device that it also registers here. So what we need to do is we need to uh, program this to be the LED lights to be responsive to the MIDI changes that are happening. What we're going to do for that is we go uh, here to our, our knob and I'm going to change that to control. I press that button once and it says switch two because that's the last switch that I controlled. I actually want to start off here on switch one. So I'm going to press one and that comes up. Now I twist to the right until I see LED. I press that once, MIDI comes up and we see that MIDI, sorry, press MIDI as well. And we see that MIDI is off. Okay, I want to switch MIDI on. So I press MIDI on, and then I go further to the right until it goes back. So it's gonna take me back to the next screen. Then I go here again, I'm gonna go back. This takes me back to the control value. I turn one to the right and I press save once, save again, and a third time. Okay, so let's see what we have. We still have the functionality where if I press uh, let's go, yeah, if I press this once, then we see that reverb turning on and off, right? So that's good, that's what we want, but that's kind of what we had already with the regular mapping. Now the test is whether I can press the reverb button and see some change here. And it is changing, right? So now we have responses from anything that I have that I do on my screen of my computer or that I do with another uh, external MIDI controlling device that's also going to register in the pacer itself. And that's good news. Um, the not so great news is I haven't figured out a way to do that with the web app that I did another tutorial on that was uh, programmed by Francois uh, Georgi. And that's available. You can look at that uh, past past tutorial or, or on Pacer's website and they give you a, a link to that. Um, I haven't figured out how to get this information with the LED changes into the into the app using that. So you have to either do it physically or you can go to my website, brandonxshaw.com and then look under sound and look under Nectar Pacer uh, presets with Ableton Live. And then you can down, there's a link there to a, a G Drive file where you can download the, the SysX files, the S-Y-S-E-X files. And that has all the changes that you'll need. Um, let's do a couple more together just so we can be uh, clear on it if you have to do this manually or if you prefer to do it manually, if you're bored on a Friday night. So we go to control, press it, press the switch that we want to control. So now we switch to switch number two. I'm going to go all the way till I see LED, MIDI, sorry, MIDI, press enter, and then on. Great. And then I go to back all the way to the right to hit back again. Then we have our control, and I'm gonna to go to save once, twice, three times a lady. Now we have same functionality there. That's turning on my gritty, dirty bus. And then I can change it also on from, the, from my mouse. And we see the LED changing there. Now I had enough fun yet, let's do one more. Okay, so we go to control press the button, press the um, the foot switch that we want to control. So I'm going to do switch three, we see comes up there. Now I go all the way to the right, LED, press the button, MIDI, press the button, on, press the button, go to the right, back, go to the right again, back, 
go to the right one switch, save once, twice, three times. Okay, so now we see that same functionality there, turning on and off the switch. And then I can also go onto the screen itself, turn it on and off, which is pretty cool. All right, I hope that was helpful for you guys. If it is, give me a like, give me a subscribe because I have more good stuff coming up on how to use Ableton Pacer and all sorts of stuff, uh, MIDI related, music related, bass related, anything we want to know. Okay, not anything you want to know, but some stuff that's cool. Uh, so come join me again, and thanks a lot. Y'all take care. Diff 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 diff